Hello Libra. So we're going to be using the Book of Thoth, one of the new tarot decks I recently purchased. And already with this card, this is the Magician. You're going to find out the next seven days where your loyalties lie and where others' loyalties lie when it comes to you. And I just heard moving target. If you were once a targeted individual, it's now, the target is now someone else. And it's most likely someone that had to do with targeting you in the first place. That's just the channeled messages that I received reading that card. This is interesting. I just cut to the devil in reverse. What? Houseway? And then it switched. Something is switching. This is so bizarre. I didn't I didn't flip the card around. I just shuffled the deck and it Okay. Let's cut 3 times and just get into it, Libra. Using the Book of Thoth. Messages for Libra. What's the situation this week? What's Libra's situation this week? We'll take the top card. Okay, the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Victory. Wow. Over Le Diable. That's French, but in Spanish it's El Diablo. Wow. Your angels and guides are forcing this energy out. As you experience victory. And wishes coming true with the nine of cups. Who is this? Really? Ads? Okay, my fault, Libra. This looks like the King of Pentacles to me. The bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. There could be a King of Pentacles that feels... that you will not accept their offer. You may not accept their offer or you may be disinterested.
Yep. This is a masculine entrepreneur. Well disposed towards the current, a careful investor. You have a masculine energy for my feminine Librans. Or even my masculine Librans, okay? This could be a business partner or some type of something that someone that has to do with your business and career, with the money, the pentacles. This masculine is a very careful investor. And they do see a relationship or some type of business partnership with you as a good financial move. Because they see you over here in the Nine of Cups. You're making your wishes come true. Your dreams are manifesting into reality. And with the Four of Cups at the bottom, they're thinking, does Libra even want to work with me or is Libra even interested in me? Yep. 46, the Four of Cups, it equals a boring relationship. Or periodic care, meaning sometimes you care, sometimes you don't. So there's a king of pentacles that feels like sometimes you care, Libra, sometimes you don't. You could be afraid the relate you or this king of pentacles could fear that the relationship could become stagnant, stale, or boring. I do feel like this energy doesn't feel like they feel like you're such a mystery Libra. They feel like they may bore you, but see, they can't buy you. Okay. They know you have your own dreams again and wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups going on, right? And they know it's like your their money doesn't impress you because you've got your own things going on. Your own dreams manifesting. And so they know they can't buy you. And those that they feel like they could buy their love, they don't want. This King of Pentacles is focused on you, Libra. It's almost like wanting something they can't have. Wow. The Ten of Wands. With judgment at the bottom. Number 26, disloyal acquaintances, conspiracies within the family or at work. It's judgment day for anybody that's been disloyal to you, Libra. This is going back to the very beginning, the first channeled message I received. The same burden, the same pain they wished for you is what they are experiencing.
dissension. I don't know if that's the chariot. He is riding something and he has two horses. Wow, another horse card at the bottom. This looks like the knight or page of pentacles. But let's see. Twenty-one. This is the carriage card. Sixty-six. This deck is a little different. The Knight of Pentacles, a financial or real estate consultant. But this chariot, this carriage person, works for the government. Who is this government official? Gosh, there's the Queen of Pentacles. Why is this government official showing up in Libra's reading? Carriage, the government official. Why? Top card. La Prudence. It looks like Temperance. And there's a snake crawling up the mirror she's holding. Some of you had previous dealings with a snake. This person that you had previous dealings with, the snake, energy, They were trying to distort your image is what I'm getting channeled 1303 on the clock. They were trying to distort your image to others and to yourself, make you feel self-conscious, try to make you feel less than. That's wild. That snake was trying to distort your mirror image. You're going to be receiving some type of news, possibly from an authority figure. This isn't going to resonate for everybody, only for some. About a snake from your past. The Three of Swords. I told you. This is somebody that could have been and put you in a third party situation. Their heart was broken. Your heart was broken. Let's read La Prudence. Number 12. Nope, that's not temperance. It means silence, solitary search, and caution. Yep. Yep. And upside down, even though this isn't in reverse, it does mean misplaced trust. In the past, you misplaced your trust in this snake. You had to go silent with this person, with the snake. And you see that book she's holding? It's like you've become all the more wiser, Libra. This snake could still be slithering around you. Take caution. It's 
See, you took that solitary search. You went on that. You did the inner work journey. This person has not. They're still a snake. And they still operate in the Three of Swords. Anything else you'd like to tell us about this person? The King of Swords. I'm seeing him head to toe in armor. The light just flickered. I heard armory. Wow. Again, with this card at the bottom, but I'm noticing this target. For somebody I'm reading for, for a few people, for a few Libras that have similar storyline going here because I can relate to this as well this official person in whatever capacity that they work for the government or the law knows that you were made, you were a TI, you were a targeted individual. Or that this snake was targeting you. I keep hearing you were, you had a target on your back. Something has occurred. Again, I'm hearing this switch up energy that we picked up on in the very beginning when the devil was in the reverse and then he came up in the upright, almost like magic. Why is the king of swords here? Wow. Expert professional who gives costly advice. Okay, that's giving attorney energy. But this person is an expert at what they do. Expert professional who gives costly advice. It costs. Time is money with this king of swords. Again, very much a lawyer. Wow, so you have a government official and a lawyer. Wow, Libra justice, what? Government official. You and the snake and the mirror. I'm hearing mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Libra. Literally. Pun intended. And we've got justice. This is justice on your behalf, my dear friends. This could be something that's been going on for a while. Months, years in the making. La justice. Wow, with the tower. Wow. The tower is crumbling for that snake on the mirror. And your ancestors and your guides and your angels are all coming through right now and just repeating. It's 
it's karma, it's law, 2020 on the clock, 2021, 2022, 2023. It's over. It's not going beyond this year. You're not going to be dealing with this same type of energy or this same type of issue this time next year. It's done. The tower injustice. All the misery they tried to bring upon you is what they're falling into. It says misery at the top. Somebody could have been planning some type of fire. Somebody could have honestly been planning to try to like set somebody's house on fire. Or someone could have committed arson and then tried to hide it and like receive that insurance money. And they got caught up. And for whatever reason, that caught them up and then it opened up Pandora's box to everything else that they've been attempting to do to you, Libra, the fairest of them all. I feel honestly on each side of you though with this government official with the carriage and the lawyer with you in the middle and then justice coming out I'm truly feeling like you're very supported you're going to be very supported from different angles both sides you will be supported You're a balanced Libra. Someone lied on you and tried to say, you know, you were not who you say you are and that you are not balanced. You're not fair. You're not just. You're not giving. I'm hearing you're, they, they were trying to say you were lying. You were selfish. You were a, bad word. I will just say harlot, but I heard another worse one. La justice. Let's go, Libra. Rediscovered peace. That is so huge. You may have not have felt this type of peace that you're stepping into with your very first card being the nine of cups and your last card being justice. You may have not have felt this type of peace ever in your life, Libra, or it's been a really long time. I'm hearing Janet Jackson. It's all for you. It's all for you. Rediscovered peace and inner balance. Wow. Oh my gosh, I just cut the deck open to fortune. <laughs> The wheel of fortune. Stepping up to your destiny. Stepping up, Libra. You're stepping onto the wheel. You're stepping up to your power. Good fortune bestowed upon you. Good fortune will follow you for the rest of your days.
stay fair, stay balanced. The divine is blessing you with peace. Like, what's that feel like? Peace and happiness. I'm not going to say, like, no stress at all because... That's nearly impossible, right? But less stress. A lot less stress, Libra. Oh, yay. I love this. I hope you enjoyed your tarot reading. Um, this will be for the next week, for the next seven days, or whenever you find this. If you did receive messages here, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. We'll chat soon, Libra. I will be uploading a members only video next. So shout out to my members. I'm sorry I have been lacking and I'm going to make it up to you guys. Thank you so much. Chat soon. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Peace.